Okay, so today the topic is, uh, da, da, well, actually, it's from this book. This book is Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Is that highly effective people? That's, That's it, Lee. We know you're very good with book names, don't we? We know you're brilliant with book names. The thing, the thing, and the thing, right? Yeah. Um, it was, it was the thing, the thing, the thing, and the thing. There was four of yeah, them. Yeah, and even the, the seven things. Yes. On this one, it's the seven things. Um, so, guys, get yourself a copy of this book. I love this book. I've had this book for probably 15 to 20 years, and I'm still rereading it. In fact, um, what I want to do is, I'll tell you what, that YouTube thing is killing me because it's so much delay on it. Hang on, put it in the middle there. Um, so, I want to talk about the seven habits. So, guys, if you are really interested in this, go pick up the book. Um, no, the, we don't, I'm not like, um, you know, I haven't got any vested interest in it. It's just a brilliant, brilliant book. And the reason I've chosen this subject today on this one is called, called put things, oh, it says um, put first things first. Now, if you go to the YouTube channel, I've actually got a book uh, playlist. And this, um, this one is actually a specialist playlist that just focuses on Stephen Covey's habits. Now, I did two episodes on the first and second habits, the first habit being proactivity and the second habit begin with the end in mind. So go watch those videos because this is going to be the third instalment of that trilogy. So essentially I want to put up another habit and what I want to do though is, is use the podcast to cover that that habit, putting first things first. So give you a context guys about this. So the first habit is be proactive. Okay, so the first step, you go back to that video, be proactive this just means what you're about, your purpose, what you want to really do with your life in terms of how you want to move forward. The second habit is being proactive is then creating that. What would it be like if you're living that life? It's a really powerful uh, chapter. So go and do that. It talks about what we talk about a lot in this podcast. Uh, we call it call them the circles of influence. In fact, that's where the idea come from. We call them circles of control. It doesn't really matter. It's the same sort of thing, but it talks about that. It's a really powerful metaphor. So those two habits there, if you just do those, you, you'll start to get progress. So this one really is about putting the first habit and the second habit and the third habit together. This third, third habit now is about execution. So actually in the book, um, it, actually if you, in the book, I am going to sort of draw out some pages, but in the book, it talks about execution. Um, and as you know, um, execution is the key to everything. Like you have to take action. And actually, if you go to page 169, 169 of the book, I've actually highlighted it. It says here, um, if habit one says you're the programmer, so basically you're programming your mind and all the habits, then prior to writing the program, then you're actually starting to write. Habit three says run it. So actually start to execute on the plans that you make. And um, so this is what this, this chapter about. So there is something in here, which I think is a great tool. And I have covered it before. And I don't know if we've covered it before in the podcast. So maybe you guys can just remind me if we have, but it's the, called the COVID time management matrix. And I'm just going to show this to- I'm not sure to, we have, you know, Jay. So the guys. So let's I think go we through have, that probably. All right then. So it's, it's my that. opinion doesn't matter. See. I don't know if I can see that. But I'm just going to put that there. We muted it. So no, I can hear you. So I'll just, I'm just, oh. I'm just continuing. <laughs> I'm just continuing. Like you did at the start. I, I must be ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just explaining the model. So it's four quadrants. The first quadrant is urgent, important. The second quadrant, which is to the to the to the right hand side, is is not urgent, important. Then the bottom left. Um, is called the urgent and not important quadrant. And then you've got the last quadrant, which is the bottom right, which is called the not urgent, not important. I so the urgent, important Joe, tasks are things like this. We haven't, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good to, it's good to, to go over it again. So I think, yeah, in the context of habit one and two, if we're going to do this, it's really important because obviously, you know, habit one is be proactive, sort of design. Um, then you're writing the program and have it too. You know, you're you're beginning with the end in mind. Are oh, you setting the goal? You know, what's the end look like? And then you're working backwards, like we talked about before in the podcast. So this is about the execution, it's about the doing. So what this matrix does really is it puts into when people say, oh, "I ain't got enough time to do that," it's probably because you're doing a lot of other different things, which are distracting you from actually getting to the main thing. So the the matrix helps you does helps you really just align and make sure you 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 just get rid of the stuff you shouldn't be doing, essentially to get to the what you want to do. So the urgent and important stuff. Is things like crisis. I'm just reading out what's in the quadrant. Crisis, pressing problems, deadline-driven projects. They're the things you have to do now, right away. You know, they're urgent, important. The other quadrant two, um, that's your not urgent but important activities. That's things like prevention activities, relationship building, recognizing opportunities, and planning recreation. And that is the quadrant. I'm going to repeat that. Well, that is the quadrant. Quadrant. The quadrant we should be working on. That one. The 
uh, ur the important but not urgent activities because that's where your big visions are that's where everything is now you've got the, the quadrant three bottom left which talks about not important and urgent which basically means interruptions uh, some calls some mail some meetings proxim uh, pressing matters and popular activities these are things there may be like things like a meeting that you've got in every week but what value you bring in should you actually be at that meeting so really what that third quadrant is is should you just eliminate it but tell people why you're eliminating it like don't need to come to this meeting because of x y and z um, and then you've got the last one, which is the not important and not urgent, um, which is things like trivia, busy work, some mail, pleasant activities and things like that. That could be, you know, things like I've really reduced, like things like um, I try and reduce my Netflix stuff because I want to do the other stuff that I want to do. So it's reducing all those types of things. Um, so I would say just to sort of recap them, top left, urgent, important. That's the do now. Top right, which is not urgent, important. That's plan to do. Then you've got your the bottom left, which is not urgent, not important and urgent, which is reject and explain. And then not urgent, not important, you should be eliminating them. So it is difficult because obviously you've got to just try and juggle those properties. <laughs>